Yo, what up? H Dog. So, how you doing? An L. What? L Bizzle. In the news, all. <laughs> Today. <laughs> I tried to join in. It was yeah, a you tried. Did you hear about a man who was riding his horse in Australia and he got stopped by the police because he was using his mobile phone? <laughs> okay. Was he on the road? He was speeding as well. He was going <laughs> 80 miles an hour. <laughs> was the horse. In the back of a car or on a train. The horse was driving a car. The horse was driving yeah. a car. The horse was driving a car. So he was riding that horse that was driving a car. That's right. Yes. Uh, I mean that would have gotten him pulled over for a start. That's not allowed. That's illegal. According to the law, a horse is a vehicle, and when you're operating a vehicle, you have to have a hands-free device fitted to the vehicle <laughs> to use a mobile phone. Right. And he didn't have a hands-free device attached to his horse, therefore he was breaking the law. Okay, first of all, I reckon that horses are vehicles, because back in the day, that was probably the OG vehicle, right? And it's probably like the laws, because half the place in all these countries, the laws are like well old. And like, you can get in trouble for all sorts of stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, if you slap a man with a white glove on a, pay on a street corner, whilst there is a lady with a petticoat showing, Ooh. if you can see her ankle at three o'clock in the afternoon, and the sun is in the air, then you're you... allowed to shoot a welcome with a crossbow. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing. It's like archaic bylaws. And yeah. I reckon horses, because there was this period of time when horses were being changed over to motor vehicles, the people. What? Uh, <laughs> there was this guy who patented like the front half of a horse that would stick on the front of a car, so it made people feel more comfortable driving like a horse and carriage. So. What the heck? So what happened to him? Uh, he's gone to prison for uh, 280 years. Good God, an overreaction. Um, what is wrong with the legal system? Is the horse in trouble as well? Uh, the horse got shot. Right. For breaking the law. Well. For having a man on its back using a phone. It should have known better. Yeah, it should have had a uh, hands-free device installed onto it. Where would you install that? Well, surely horses don't have hands. On the bridle? Anyway. Horses, you are right, horses don't have hands. <laughs> Thanks for reassuring me that I was right about that. I was concerned I'm for a second gas, after I said I'm, it. I'm not going to gaslight you. You know, you are correct. Horses don't have hands. I'm yeah. not going to argue with you. So surely they are a hands-free device already. What about if you talk to your horse and use it as like a communication device? You talk to a horse. You're driving the horse a horse. uses semaphore to communicate to another horse that then turns its head like 180 degrees and then speaks in Spanish to the to the drive the pilot, sorry. Pilot, the, horse, the other horse. Rider, I guess. Who then like uses It's the word we've been looking for this whole time. He has to use an app on his phone to translate from Spanish to Australian. Put the apple on the Barbie. We're and on then our holds way home. it to his ear and then the police come up. Why are they and in then Spanish? Sorry, why was the Spanish? Because horses speak Spanish. Right, of course they do, because they're all from Spain. Spain. Did you hear about the bride who ruined her wedding dress when she gambled on a fart and <laughs> lost in a big way? Oh my god. So there was a post on Reddit and it was the wedding planner that spilled the beans. Uh, oh my gosh. The bride herself, she spilled something else. Maybe she had beans for lunch, though. Oh, maybe that was it. The wedding planner was left sponging down a sobbing naked bride. Oh, God! So, the, the, the whole point behind it was, I think she was, she was given something in order to clear out her system so that she would be less bloated, to, so she would appear slender for the so wedding. So it would fit into the dress better. So People do this themselves, because yeah. this has to be like the best day of your life, that like the pressure's on. I mean, it was described she was drinking detox shakes. Oh no. So, whatever the hell was in there. This is the happiest day of my life! <laughs> Oh, oh, Daddy, thank you for walking Wait, me down what? the aisle. I'm the bride! Oh, I'm the father. Yeah. I thought I was the groom. What, I mean, on. the bride. Which way no, is it wait, supposed which? to be? I'm, who's holds up, who's... No, you hold it like that, and I put my arm in it, right? Thank you, this is so wonderful. And then as soon as you get... I'm so proud of you. Oh, you look so beautiful in that unshitted wedding dress. <laughs> oh, no! In that lovely pure white colour that would show any stain very clearly. <laughs> Oh no, 
know that the Huel double chocolate shake I ate for lunch, I think it's... Oh, I'm just going to let out a little fart. All right, then, To release the pressure. All right, I'll try and cough at the same time to cover it. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, it's not stopping! <laughs> oh, I'm sure no one's noticed! <laughs> There's some poor kid holding the tray. <laughs> He's like a the mud kid boy. Is just covered in it. Oh dear. It ended up with the couple feeding each other wedding cake with poo stained hands. What? Which I don't quite believe. What that. do you mean? How did this get to that stage? How bad was it? It must have been pretty bad. Pretty bad. I mean, first of all, a wedding dress looks very sustainable. I mean, a lot of people might like even like take their undies off underneath. You know, it's all tradition, isn't it? You know, the wedding. It's all about tradition. It's all about keeping What's up it? appearance. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something, something brown. <laughs> <laughs> Something poo. <laughs> Something poo! Oh, that's perfect. Oh, we should have done that. Absolutely perfect. Do that, do that again. No, that. no, no, no. We, it's, we it's, nailed it. It's funny here with us getting it wrong the first time. <laughs> have you heard about the deaf man who's suing Pornhub? <sighs> He's trying to watch his pornographic movies and he can't follow the storylines. Right, because of the lack of subtitles. Yeah, I think maybe the only subtitles are ooh, ah. Uh. <laughs> ooh, yeah. ee, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ting, tang, willy, wally, bang, bang, bang. First of all, is Pornhub really the place where... The, uh, do they make the movies? I don't think they do. Are Pornhub mostly... A, I wouldn't know, I'd hardly ever visit. Um, but are most of the... Hardly ever. <laughs> Are most of the just movies, a couple of times a day. Other people are uploading stuff. Just in the though, morning right? and in like, the evening. It's like YouTube. It's not. Sometimes at lunch. They're not running it. I can understand <clears> them suing like another site that I won't name. Bang Bus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can understand them suing Bang Bus, being okay. like, <clears throat> oh, no, I, you know, I can't get into it because the stories ain't. There isn't title. really a story with Bang Bus. A woman goes on a bus, she gets fucked. This... Maybe that's all it needs. Like, if they just added a couple of things, like, uh, ma'am, do you want to ride the bang bus? Oh, sure. Well, it'll be £1.50. Oh, I don't have any money! <laughs> <laughs> Is there maybe some other way I can pay? Uh, what are you making these? <laughs> how far are you going? <laughs> all the way! Oh, well, I mean, I can... To the depot, I guess. <laughs> uh, well, we, we normally go up the high road and over oh, to Sainsbury's. Oh, you can go up my high road. You can go up my low road as well. <laughs> See, this what this is what that deaf guy wanted. We're gonna have yeah. to subtitle this whole thing for him, or else he's gonna come after us now. Oh my god! I'm just saying, you've got to be sensitive. You do, especially when he's watching such movies as Hot Step Aunt, Babysits Disobedient Nephew. And sexy cop gets witness to talk. Are these two oh, of the ones? Oh, that's bad. He that's really bad. He was confused by these things. Is he really suing Pornhub, or is this just the Pornhub fake story? Well, Pornhub he of... sued, but sued means that he filed a lawsuit, right? And then it was immediately dismissed because there is literally a category with closed captions, and they try and do as much as they can to assist. I like watching deaf stuff people. with subtitles now. <coughs> I what, find it porn? easier. No, well, I haven't tried it with Paul. Maybe I will after this. Well, there you go. Did you hear about the man who broke his own record right. for sitting in a barrel at the top of a pole? Sitting in a barrel at the top of a pole? Sitting in a barrel at the top of a pole. Fucking hell. I've broken my own record 22 years ago. I set this record. Is that what he said? So, yeah, yeah. He, he was in that barrel for, for two months. Oh, that's pretty long, actually, isn't it? I'm thinking I've now got a newfound respect for him. Uh, but that was his personal best, and he's trying... Two months? Yeah, he Do was up there... he has a really supportive wife? No, mother. Well, <laughs> Definitely he's... not her wife. I don't think he's a young man. He's like, Mum! Oh, fucking hell, you're up your fucking barrel again. 
Yeah, I need to piss, Mum. Can you oh, pass up the bucket? So I'm like, just piss in the barrel. Right, you got a whole Frank, barrel up there. Pit, <laughs> can't just fill up that barrel. Two months worth of piss. It's got a hole in it. Maybe. Yeah. So he he lives in this barrel for two months, shitting, pissing, sleeping. He's got to sleep in that barrel. Is he got like a book, an iPad? He must have like someone supporting him. He's got like people on the ground that he like talks. He waves at them. He can't really hear what they're saying. It's eighty feet in the air. Eighty feet in a barrel. In a high, in a barrel, and the for weird, two months. The weird thing is that he's a diver as well. What's he doing up in the air? He should be at, like, underwater. Why, yeah, what the fuck? This story's so weird. B wanking in the barrel? Because he'd have to, if, like, showering in the barrel? In a barrel? Well, it says he's um he's got social media in the barrel, so he must have a load of shit. <laughs> Do you reckon there's another chump? Somewhere else in the world. Trying to beat this Trying record. to beat this record on a pole. Shitting in a barrel with his mum. Oh, that Frank over in Oklahoma is doing much better than you, Billy. You're oh. a failure as a son. I'll try my best, mum. Now I'll shit in the best. bucket. Where's my chicken tendies? Can you <laughs> pull them up, please? <laughs> so in order for him to get up into the barrel, 80 feet in the air, a helicopter had to lower him into it. Right? He was lowered into the barrel by helicopter. How does he get out? He needs the helicopter to pick him back up. Fuck, I mean, there's still questions on this. I mean, it says his wife and children are staying at home on the other side of South Africa. I'm surprised. So he doesn't even have this like outside his house. What, what, how has he picked this location? Maybe it's because of the, the restaurants that are giving him food. Maybe he picked like a sweet spot that was like equidistant between a whole bunch of nice food places. And he was like, you know, oh, I'll get a deal with them. I'll say, oh, I'll say, mm, I really enjoyed McDonald's. It's delicious. And then, you know, as he's eating it, he's also taking his shit into a bucket. <laughs> and I ruined da, 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 da. I'm in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Why do people do this? There's so many weirdos doing weird shit. This isn't the only, this is, do you know what? This isn't even the weirdest one. Normally they have like a midlife crisis and I don't know, get like a gym in their garage. Get a know, motorbike. Or get a motorbike and go around, I don't know, Vietnam get, on a motorbike or whatever. Get a leather jacket. You yeah, know. let it go. Let grow your grow, hair out. Grow your hair out, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. How does he do those? Who's helping him? If the wife and children aren't helping him, who's helping him? This is, there's an organizer who's? that's named. Fiona Jones. So someone's organising this shit. Like show. his agent. Okay, let's just for example, you're as Fiona. As you can stick you're it. Fiona Jones. You're working in your Hello, shitty, Fiona Jones. shitty office, right? Yeah. And you really haven't got many clients. You've got like a mime guy who's not making any money these days. You've yeah. got the fucking. You've got like, I don't know, some. The deaf love him though. Some terrible pink-haired Twitch streamer. Yeah. Uh, who's not really cutting it. And then you've got this guy. Yeah. And he's like been off the books for a while because, you know, the this last is thing like he Jerry did. Jerry Maguire or something. The last thing he did was like 20 years ago when he was up in a barrel. And you've been trying to get him up in that barrel again. Show me the barrel. You've been you've been calling him and he yeah. finally breaks. He's like, I need the money. Yeah. I've thought about it long and hard. I'm going to go up in the barrel. I'm okay? going to go up in the barrel. So you're like, okay. I'll talk to my wife. She hates it. She thinks it's a terrible idea. She's, we have to do it on the other side of the country from her. Yeah. Okay, I'm going up. And so I get the helicopter, I go up there, you know, and I've been up there one night, and you're in the office, and you get a text from me on WhatsApp. Yeah. Hello, oh, what's this? What's going on? Hey, out of loo roll. No loo roll. No loo roll? What am I going to do? I can't get a helicopter to... I'm typing this. I can't get a helicopter to, like, airdrop some loo roll Yeah, but you. just bring it up in the pulley. We haven't installed a pulley. I didn't know we'd need a pulley. You'd drop in a barrel. There's a pole, there's a barrel. What, what more I do you need? I got a dirty bum here. I've just pooped in, in this plastic bag and pissed in another plastic bag. My barrel's filling up with piss and shit. You're going to need to deal with this. Just, Fiona, this is your job. Just throw. I'm throw. hungry. I've been up here for 24 hours. I'll see if I can throw some food up at you. Okay, sure. We're in South Africa. We can probably find, you know, a, a retired bowler that can chuck something up. Stop telling nice. me all this on WhatsApp. Come over here. I'm sorry, I'm actually really busy. I'm dealing with my other two clients right now, but I'll be around later this afternoon. Okay, the next day passes. <laughs> Fiona, there are now three full piss bags and I'm running out of bags. 
to shit and piss in. I have a very itchy bum because there's no toilet roll and I'm very hungry and thirsty. Sorry Vernon, that's his name, I just have to check. Sorry Vernon, um, I've been re really tied up at work. There was an emergency. Our, our, our pink haired streamer, she didn't get uh, enough subs this month. She, she called me up crying, I had to deal with that. But I'll be, I'll be there this afternoon, definitely, for sure, 100%. 24 hours goes by. Fiona, help! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> it's like, it's like... <laughs> to the brim, it's like, it. It's like an Amazon packing order with those, like, inflatable bags, oh, except they're all piss. God! I don't want to start throwing piss and poo bags out of the barrel. The children are waving at me from down below. I look at their ice creams. I'm very thirsty, Fiona. I've had to drink a few of the piss bags myself for hydration. I'm very hot. The sun keeps beating down. I have no umbrella to cool the sun. And I just look at the text. I smile. I phone his wife and I said, He's going down. <laughs> it's working. Oh my God, you must need so much He'll support. He'll be dead in 24 hours. My oh, poor He's man. He's only been drinking his own piss. Are we going to get any money from this video?